guys, uh, I wanted to just offer you the opportunity to share some of your thoughts on, on stuff. And I mentioned this in the Discord. Um, I would very much love to know. It's the brand new year, of course, right? So I would love to know, what are your guys' New Year's resolutions for World of Warships? What are you trying to accomplish this year in this game? And I think this Iowa battle is perfectly fitting because of that but. Stop. But. Because of that but. Uh, I can't remember how to slow it down, so I'm just going to have to do that. What is your goal? Or what are your goals in World of Warships? And how does it look if I... That looks okay, but I, I kind of like the... I like having the booty more pronounced. That could work too. That could work too. Papa Smurf says, nice. He likes the booty. I, I do like the uh, ornamentation and stuff like that. So that was a good pick. Yeah, my That's, skin's oh, booty looks better. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what? I said my, my ship's booty looks better, especially my Massachusetts ship. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get one of the tip as well. Just the tip. Just well, no. See, we want to we want to get the whole the whole thing, not just the tip. There we go. That can work. How's that look? All right. So, chat. We're gonna talk about this. I'll share my own as well, and we're just gonna we're gonna talk while the game plays out. All right. So, what are your goals, or what is your one goal in World of Warships for this year? I'm gonna start reading what you guys are sharing so far. Get the Mikasa, says Raul Santi. Really? The Mikasa of all ships? Why do you want the Mikasa? Fun. Duckman says, get up to 5,000 battles. Yeah, that, that'll be a good one. Um, to get up to 5,000 battles, though, that might require you to play more than test ships, because test ships don't count towards your battle count. Painzer you know, says... Either, so I, I can't even be... I'm sorry, say that again? I said I don't have a Mikasa either, so I can't even be like, what? I don't have one either. Mikasa is an exercise in frustration because you fire your guns and you think dispersion is bad in any other battleship in this game. Wait till you play a Mikasa. By far, the worst. Um, secondary. Yes, she's hilarious for the secondaries, but that's it. The other yeah. part of the problem is in tier two, if you're playing a random battle, um, the game considers the Mikasa a battleship. Now, there's only one tier two battleship, which is the Mikasa. So if there's no other battleship in the queue, then it will match you with a tier three battleship. Stevie, hold on a sec. I need to get the door for Stevie. Oh, you got it? Yeah, you're hungry, aren't you? Okay, mommy will feed you. Did you guys did you guys hear that meow? Yes. I opened the, the door and he meow. looked at me. He looked right at me and he's like, I want food. Alright, so let's see what the other uh, other ones are. Painzer says clear out the research bureau, rebuy every tech trip and then tech tree ship, and then maybe after that I might try learning to play the damn game. Now, I saw, Painzer, that you had this wild, crazy idea of resetting all the ship lines. Um, which, by the way, isn't, isn't the first time that idea has been used. See my earlier video on YouTube? Hey. Um, where I reset all the lines. But uh, I, I did it all in, in uh, one month, which was hilarious. That being said, that's a good idea. Clearing out the research bureau is a, is a great idea, right? Get all of those research tokens taken care of. Um, I did, ooh, nice hit. I did have a video on YouTube, um, about the various things you could spend your research points on. I highly recommend 
uh, you do ships first, and then if you really want, if you really want, uh, then you could also do some uh, some of the upgrades and stuff like that. Um, that's the link to that video right there. Okay, let's take a look at, let's continue on. Shadow the Demonic Hero. My goal in WoW is keep my sanity and not get chat banned. You've been so far, but it can be a real struggle. You've been chat banned so far, or you've been doing okay so far? Because you're nine days into the year, so if your goal was to not get chat banned, you failed it pretty hard at nine days in. <laughs> Their Bach wants to make CC. Hey, good luck to you, sir. I know you're not the only one. Um, my advice to you, as my advice has always been to Kitten. Kitten, what have I always told you? Get good. No. <laughs> I've told Kitten, just keep doing what you're doing, and it will come to you eventually. Figure out what's special about you compared to others, and do what you do because you love it. Because if you don't love it, why are you doing it? all the time get good get good more evil tree sock says more ranked more steel and you're and you're achieving it via the venezia okay ralisan says you have almost everything else you already wanted so okay if you're a collector like i am then i completely get you right get all that stuff yes colonel nasty I did say, not just the tip. Um, Razor survival numbers. Bad fish too. That's not that's not a bad idea. I like how you're very specific too, and you're not just saying I want to get good. I want to look at survivability and focus on that. Now the key, of course, is survivability without you know missing out on opportunities to do damage. Like if you look at my last game in the Conqueror, right? That wasn't so wasn't so good. Which reminds me, I don't know what games I... I should have sat with you guys and talked about them. I don't know what games to post to YouTube. Uh, surely that Z52 game I should do. But, oh well. Uh, Z52... Should I do both of them? Because the, I, had, I had good... Both of them were good games, right? The one with the predictive torps, although that was kind of a fail. And then the other one was, of course, the, uh, the win. With other predicted torps, mind you. And survival. Actually, that's a good one. Okay. Um, let's see. Marry the man you met on World of Warships and reboot the clan after you tie the knot. Harley Quinn, that is so awesome. That is Showing so awesome. Who I think it is. Well, I know who because it is, I think. They're, they're, they're joined at the hip all the time. Unless, unless, of course, you know, things have changed in this past couple of years with COVID, but I doubt it. So that's awesome. That's great. So do I, because they're usually joined at the hip while they're helping my clan. Yep. A WoW's wedding, get Wargaming to film it. Duckman, that's not a bad idea. As a matter of fact, I do recall there being a article featured um, before of uh, a couple that met in Warships. And got married and all that good stuffs. Desta says this game was unfortunate. Why? It's an epic game. Uh, Cthulhu, Finnish Holland, Goliath, Hindenburg, Schlieffen grinds. Get my most advanced EU, Pan Asia, and possibly Italian captains to 21 points. Not bad, not bad. Flint, uh, yes, going back to the Mikasa discussion, it should create a bot if it can't find a match, but if it can find a match with a tier 3 battleship, it'll throw you in one. Trust me, I've had that enough times. So, who's going where, Harley? He's coming here. Nice. Last I, last I knew, but I know that there were some challenges with that as well. Mikasa has a goal of all of its own. How to hit as many post codes as possible with a single four-shot salvo with as short a range as possible. You're not wrong. Shadow going back to not being chat banned says he's doing okay. He hasn't been chat banned yet. Good. 
You don't think you've ever been chat banned? So how is it a goal to not get chat banned if you've been, if you've never been chat banned before? Papa Smurf says, just keep swimming. <laughs> sure. <sighs> Desta says, I've been enjoying the Bismarck grind, but the teams were extra special. That's okay. Cat body language includes claws, yes. Dutch says, my goal in Warships this year, try and get better. Have fun in the game. Nobody else has said fun so far. One yeah, by see, one, grind your slime. I, I guess maybe I'm the only one. I enjoy the game. That's why I play it. It's actually become an addiction for me. That's kind of why I've been trying to stay away. It's it's scary how much of an addiction this game can become. Um, and I speak with a lot of experience on that matter since I still get my dailies done every day for the past six years. Um, and it's challenging because, you know, there's there's other games that come into play every now and then. Like, I'm playing Raid a lot. Um, I'm, I want to get back into playing uh, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, but I just had an awesome time playing Civ Six last night. Um, but through it all, there will always be warships, right? Mm -hmm. Glacial says, I want to finally get some of the rare ships like Benham. Glacial, I'm going to say something that you probably aren't going to like me saying. And that is, if you are looking for a rare ship like a Benham, you have more... You have better chances of getting it now through the Santa Containers than you will a year from now through those Santa Containers. I know you don't want to hear that, but as Wargaming continues to just barf out premium ships the chances of you getting a Benham with those premium ships is less and less and less as the year goes by so if you really want that Benham you gotta be willing to put the money into it just putting that out there okay please do not spend hundreds of dollars trying to get yourself the Benham unless you really 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 freaking want it it's up to you Really, really, really um, freaking water. It can't afford any more Santa crates. What? Oh. If you really want it, but can't afford more Santa crates? Is that what you said? Yeah, I like, I want one bad, but I can't afford to do any more Santa crates. So here's what you do. You finish up all of your tier 10 grinds and get your, your, uh, snowflake so that you can get as many free ones as possible. That increases your chances of getting ships and getting, hopefully, perhaps that ship. Um, you'll have to spend free XP, you'll have to spend a lot of time, but it may be very much worth it for you. Let's continue on. Harley says, nothing has changed. All right, so he is still coming here. And hopefully I can meet up with you guys sometime. Sadly, uh, last time he was here was when, um, COVID was starting up and... It was probably not the best idea to, to meet up back then when there was no such thing as vaccination. Nobody knew anything about what this virus was or anything like that. And Papa Smurf, yes, it is Sergeant Slaughtered. I can state that because Harley Quinn has said it herself. Congratulations, <laughs> you two. Wargaming is cheaper than a wedding photographer. Hmm. Your team collapsed. Yes. It's just slow. Shadow says, I've been matched against three tier battleships, th tier three battleships with your Mikasa. We also matched with tier two cruiser before. Okay, cool. Maybe, maybe Wargaming changed around the um, mechanics for that. That's a possibility. Um, I, yeah, maybe you could shoot either one. Musashi might be good. Like, New Year's resolution should be doable, like, without effort. All right, all right. Well, you just died to the hands of a guy named how upset are you so that's kind of cool so i guess we're gonna have to uh amend our our picture of your booty and add some smoke oh my let's see if we can do it a smoking booty this is a smoking booty ladies and gentlemen that's kind of cool huh i kind of like that 
So if you zoom in too far, you lose all the smoke. And you move too close and the booty covers everything. So you need you need to be able to see everything. So this, I think that's good. All right. 174k get damage. Not bad, though. Um... Oh, no, 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 Duckman. I disagree with you. New Year's resolution should be doable, like, without effort. I disagree with you. There should be effort involved. Otherwise, why are you doing it? All right, what's the point? Blind Potato Gunner's goal is to sink their Bach ten times this year. So you're going to stream snipe him. SAT says, fun is for 2023. Okay. Personal goal, make sure it stays that way. Fair enough, Shadow. You could always add um, a karma goal, for example. You might want to try to get to, you know, 50 karma or something. Uh, knowing when to quit before frustration sets in. That's, that's a good one. My fun mostly derives from improving in skill and performing well, says Testa Waits. I, too, like to perform well. Uh, Blind Potato Gunner says he'll close his good eye for that. There you go. And give me a pet. Thank you for your free Twitch Prime sub, dude. Really appreciate that. Seriously, thank you. Uh, Evil Tree Sock says more ranked is my personal goal. Get in a typhoon for clan. Okay. More ranked. Evil Tree Sock, does that mean you want to get to ranked gold? Or does that mean that you... Um, just want to play it more. Venom is one dimensional. Yes. Colonel Nasty got his Venom from the eight Santa crates he got with the balloons. Got it. And Glacial says, My wife is listening. I'm sorry, Glacial. Agrees that I shouldn't spend tons of money on crates. <laughs> but there's another opportunity there the balloons. Flint says, I love Benham. It's a one-trick pony. Just grind a Fletcher. Fair enough. Or wait for a once-in-a-year charity event and spend $2,000 to outbid the other whales who might have. Hey, I mean, what? that's charity, man. And then charity, you know, the charity wins. Oh, you're going to lose this game. Don't worry, I'll throw you a Okay. Benham is fun in co-op. Well, yeah. You even hit the cheek from this range angle. Yes, you could, Desta Waits. When you stopped and you shot at the Napoli instead, pretty sure you could hit the cheek. Shake that booty. Smoking booty. Unrealistic. Plane hasn't been blown off the catapult. True. 200 karma. Good goal. There you go. Achievable. Make you better kind of goals. You don't even know how to check your karma. Your karma goal is 200. You're sitting at 144. There you go. Do people have problems getting karma? I have like 120 right now. Some do. Some do. Um, all right. Well, we finished that one. We're going to go on and do another <sighs> another epic replay. I want to put another ship that we don't see that often. You guys really don't want to see the sub, huh? Aha. Aha. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to do the Asian Fletcher. Uh, and your claim made it to Gale in only your third climate battle season. You had top of very good marks there. Hey! You want to join me for our chat? Of course. Okay. Okay. Okay, come here. Come here. He'll be here so shortly. Uh, Duckman says, live out the year. Well, okay, but that's not warships related. Hey, Treesock wants I steel. How much was it negatives at this point? Huh? Papa, he's, he gets, like, people giving him, um, getting, messing with his karma just because. Hmm. Fair enough. Um... Blitz says focusing on clan battles and tournaments is primary competitive focus now. Okay, so tournaments, not a bad idea. Uh, we, oh, here he is. Oh, now he came up. All right. Um, there's, you know, there's, there's some good stuff with tournaments, right? There he is. 
Um, so, so that I could see that. I could totally see that actually. Um, Blitz does not get burned out from competitive. Okay, so you're worried about getting burnt out in the process. Okay, I can. I've done competitive before. Um, I did Supremacy League with Sea Raptor and others, and you absolutely, uh, absolutely um, should, you know, or can get get uh, burnt out quickly. Um, all the practices take forever. Um, it's a lot of work. A lot of people don't understand what, what's needed in a top-tier competitive clan in order to uh, really kick butt. A lot more than most people think. So, And I just got messaged somebody in my Conqueror game was stream sniping. Cool. Whatever. We still won. Sometimes I find, and I, I, personally, I've stream sniped people before and found that, like, when I, when I tell my team what, what somebody's doing, it doesn't matter because the team still implodes anyways. So, what's it matter? At the end of the day, we won the battle. Good times were had. By all, of course. Chief Engine says, I lose karma every time I play CV. Yeah. Uh, Blitz had to take a prolonged break last year. You don't want to have to do that again. Hey, I hear you. Breaks are important, but I've always felt like I need to be playing, right? Like I need to be a part of everything. So totally get you there, man. Totally get you there. Um, karma goes up and then you play co-op and it goes back. You play co-op and your karma goes down. Huh? That is odd, to say the least. All right. Your karma is a perfect, perfect zero, Blind Potato Gunner says. Well, congratulations on the zero karma. What's happening here? Not much, okay. Let's continue on. You can paint a wall and watch it dry to sub play versus real life. Hmm. Organizing competitive can burn people out. That's true. Okay, we've caught up with live chat. So, uh, and yes, if you're looking to gain karma, especially in co-op, just ask people. Hey, who wants who wants a compliment? You'll get, you'll get people that will, you know, want, uh, you know, karma and will trade your compliments and stuff. I just like doing it anyways because it's a, it's a nice way to spread good cheer amongst the community. Okay. Um, so I've got some goals, resolutions, worships related I wanted to uh, share with you guys. The first one, yeah, stop calling the names then, there you go. Uh, the first of my goal, and this is all towards preventing burnout. Because I'm right there with a lot of you guys. I'm starting to get kind of tired of the game. I'm starting to get kind of burned out. I mean, you saw it right here. How long did it take for me to get my dailies done? Hi. Um, so one of the ways that I'm going to be doing that, I mentioned this on a previous uh, video when I was opening all those uh, Santa containers and stuff like that. Uh, for me... Um, I hate to say it for those of you guys who are part of my clan or ecosystem, but uh, that probably means taking a break from clan battles. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot of time that I have to schedule with the wife. We have to have dinner. I have to be on time um, at the start of clan battles, which for me is 6.30 p.m. local. Um, and we normally eat dinner around 6. So the thing is, if I'm late for the start of clan battles, I don't get into clan battles for probably two hours until 8.30. Um, and there's other things I could be doing with my time. So that's tough for me. Um, and then, of course, in terms of competitive, it's difficult as well when you're constantly, 
you know, trying to make things work and stuff like that. And sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And there's the, you know, the back and forth and all that. So to me, it's, it's a challenge. So for me, I'll probably end up taking a break from clan battles. I'm doing that right now. It feels weird, um, but it seems to be working out. Um, one of my other methods of preventing burnout is going to be, well, you guys saw that at the start of the stream, my ranked any percent speed runs. I'm doing that because it's an easy way to get steel. And frankly, I find that generally speaking, I finish my grinds a lot quicker. Today might be an outlier to that, but um, my dailies get done and I just feel like I'm less stressed out. To me, what stresses me out the most is when I invest a ton of time into the battle. A lot of emotion, a lot of, a lot of focus, only to see it get thrown away by one or two really bad decisions. Um, and so the nice thing about the any percent speed run is, well, frankly, I don't live to see those bad decisions play out, if that makes any sense. And maybe that's toxic and bad for the game i don't know but to me ooh, nice dwarfs but to me i feel like it's just something uh, that helps me prevent burnout and then finally the last thing i'm going to do to prevent burnout is more grinding and co-op um i've done that a lot i'm going to continue doing that i just find it's so much more relaxing playing the game in co-op than it is investing all that uh, time, effort, and concentration. So for me, I'll probably do that. You probably don't see me much in, in random battles except if I'm in a test ship, and that will probably continue for quite some time. So there you go. There's my New Year's resolution. Co-op does indeed rock, Duckman. Um, last chance for you guys to share your uh, your New Year's resolutions or your opinions and stuff and then if not you will get through this game and move on to uh, replay analysis you try to be Papa Smurf says I try to be supportive to others ask what they are working on help them with it and you get reported just about every co-op match for some reason so Papa um, I can tell you from personal experience People don't like being told how to do something or what they're doing wrong. Um, generally speaking, they get very defensive as, as your general response to something. Which is fine. I mean, that, that happens, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, at least you're trying. And that's great to see that you're trying, man. That's really great to see that you're trying. Big ol' injury wants me to cover his Brandenburg or John Bart. Let's do the let's do the John Bart, because we've done a lot of your Brandenburg games. Uh, is it the black John Bart on Islands of Ice? You ask, you never try so what the thing is is that I find that a lot of people get I mean, just initially, immediately, just nah. Dusta says, I don't care about chat usually, honestly. Uh, you never know who you're playing with. So you wait for them to initiate the chat first. Got it. Crash of World Gaming will act the burnout with randoms and bring life back into operations. I'd love to see them come back with operations. Most people like advice doesn't start with, hey, dumbass. <laughs> uh, they're not sailors. They don't know how to take constructive criticism. That's correct, Chief Finchman. Nice job getting out of dodge, by the way, there, uh, Mythic. The only time Wargaming remembers operations is when they have to nerf Naria XP gains. Well, I don't know. I think they know other things, too. Um, I'm going to... I should have pinged Mythic a long time ago, but in case he's not here, I'm pinging him now. Islands of Ice. Okay. Operations are very, very much fun. I'd love to see more of them. I'd love to see some of the old ones be brought back. It's hard to take criticism in the heat of battle. That's true, SAT. It's one of the things that I like about this channel is, you know, we're looking at it afterwards. And afterwards, you know, for the most part, 
you're not upset about something happening or not happening that that you want it to happen or not happen you know in battle um so you can approach it a little bit calmer so that works blitz thank you for the sub dude ah you're gonna try to farm the tosh now okay um so yeah stevie zeta's element absolutely is uh, so anything else you guys want to, uh, discuss before we finish this one off? That's right, Bowmaster. Because they're seeking advice, that means that they are ready to listen. Um, I've had a lot of people concerned, un uh, about, you know, sending me replays because they don't want to look bad on the internet. Um, frankly, it's not, uh, I, I just don't see that happening quite that often. Oh, he is spoiled. That's that's right, Caesar. Caesar and Billy. He is definitely spoiled. Definitely. I want keep Kaza. Which one? Lol. Okay. Um, if we don't have any more to talk about, I'll, I shall fast forward. Yes, I agree. SAT. I was a little late on the smoke up. You do some dumb stuff. <laughs> hey, we all do that, Papa Smurf. I've had games where I've just derped as well. Very risky shot there. I wouldn't have done it. But you are low, so I guess it makes sense. There's a difference between spoiled and acting like royalty. That is true. How have clan battles been for me this season? Blitz, I only played it at the start. I went to Portugal. Uh, for Christmas, so you know, I just played at the start. I gotta say, I do like that Wargaming has uh, made it so there's only one uh, one copy of each ship available maximum, and that's it. Um, so I kind of feel like that's nice. Um, I'm getting, I'm just tired of tier 10. I would be okay if it was tier 6 again, frankly. Um, as long as the, the one, one ship per, you know, per side or one type of ship or whatever is fine. That, I, I don't mind it at all. So. Everybody derps sometimes. <laughs> yes, that is true. Better players admit that they do dumb plays. I'm sorry, what was that? Looks like another high frame's about to start. One left. Yeah, that's true. We're one minute away from starting a second hype train. Now, we failed to get to tier 5 last time. Maybe we'll get to tier 5 this time and extend the stream and bring in more of that dangerous dirty water um, and get some more gifts out to people. If not, it's all good. Uh, Bob, Bowmaster says, I try to do different dumb stuff each match just to try to keep yourself balanced. There you go. Tier 7 clan battles. Yes, Evil, Seed, Evil Tree Sock. That'd be great. Can we get a smoke fire kill? Right. Harley! Thank you for the bits, Harley. Destawait says, my issue in submitting replays is that I often do not know what I am looking to learn from my replays. Most of the time, I can identify mistakes from most of my battles. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Harley! With 300 bits. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Harley. Tier 7 clan battles would be Haida and premium spam. Sure. Tell me what season isn't premium spam, you know? Sealgare, thank you. How you doing? How are the games going? Fine, we just finished dailies. We're doing Zat Chat. We're going to move into uh, doing some replay analysis in just a little bit. Harley with another 100 bits and Papa Smurf gifting a sub to Yo Nelson. Wow, thank you guys. And just like that, we are 88% through our hype train. Jeez, and Harley's getting us to 94%, and Chris gets us to tier two. Tier 10 is still mostly tech tree? Eh, Wargaming says hold my beer on that one. Don't worry. Well, we'll, we'll see that change. Yeah, honestly, if you want the most tech tree in clan battles, that's tier one. That's tier one clan battle. Chris, thank you for the bits if I didn't say thank you earlier. Stevie's just loving being on my lap right now. Just loving it. 
Justice says, I'm aware that I'm terrible in destroyers, though, so inquiring on destroyer gameplay should help a lot. Maybe it's finally time to watch those long do Kuroshio Kai videos. Hey, he's a good dude. Definitely watch them. Uh, and, uh, you know, send some replays to him, too, if you want. Dutch. Oops, biddies. Thank you for the 100 bits, dude. Oh, Duckman, tier one clan battles, I think would be great. I think it's a, I think it's a breath of fresh air that the community desperately needs. I think tier one would be a hell of a lot of fun. Imagine, if you will, all these top tier players dropping 21 point commanders in their tier one ships. Now imagine people that normally play randoms or co-op at, at, at those ships, uh, at those tiers. Dealing with all of these top tier players playing it to practice. I think it's hilarious. I think it'd be absolutely hilarious Harley with another hundred bits. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Harley. Oh This is risky as hell Considering you're gonna get yourself detected. See exactly seal girl. That would be funny April 4th this year four by four clan one clan tier one clan brawls. Yeah, there you go. And they're raging about the horrible sigma of the ships at that level, right? Glorious, indeed. <laughs> Mythic. Mythic got out of bed. We summoned Mythic, guys. <laughs> Harley's trying to choo-choo the train. Well, but there's premium tier twos, my friend. Then it's World of Emdens. Actually, it's World of Tachibanas, probably. And Umikazes. Tier one... Mains versus random players. War. Right? Exactly. Exactly right. Ah, V25, yes. V25, yep. Smoke and farm, because there's no radar. That's true. That's true. And look at you being frustrated. Hold my abru. <laughs> oh, well-timed big hit there from somebody. That will secure the win for you. All right, guys, we got two minutes left in the game, and then we're going to move to replay analysis. So last chance to comment in with anything you uh, you want to about that stuff. Sith Kitten, raiding in. You stopped your stream? I'm going to need to head out. I'm not feeling well at all. Okay. So I'm, gonna I'm sorry to hear this, that. And it sucks. So I'm going to pull this giveaway for you, and then... Okay. Real men only use Mikasa spams. There you go. Trying to turn off lock before Torps and helps and co-op, yeah. Cthulhu says it's a pity to the ultimate tier 1 main retired. Wargaming needs to return the swan to what it was. Yes. Yes. The black swan. Wait, I'm calling bullshit right now. Why? Look at the giveaway. Puckhead. Puckhead subscribed and then Colonel Nasty yeah, won Nasty again. Won Colonel run. Nasty, what the hell, dude? Puckhead, thank you for the sub. That's 13 months. More dirty water, he says. I agree. Thank you. And that's some almost actual rigged, right? Jeez. What was his chance of winning? 3.45% chance. And this Iowa is overturning right into your twerps. But wow. is he here? Is Colonel Nasty here? That's a good question. That's a good question. Very good question, actually. Cure Sarge just takes out the Iowa. Oof. And you went you from, know, just, like... He's trying another winner anyway just to go with him because... Okay, yeah. fair enough. Shell Eater. Shell Eater, if you are here, you have won. Colonel Nasty still wins as well, but... Mm-hmm. That's assuming he's here, right? Yeah. And we didn't get to level five, a hype train, but hey, you know what? We had some fun anyways, so thank you guys. Choo here. choo hype lol. And you're gonna win on time. Okay. Well, guys, thanks for uh, being a part of the Zath Chat. It's really fun hearing what everybody's um, everybody's goals are, their New Year's resolutions for warships are. So that was a lot of fun.